Well, hey everybody. I know it's been a while since we've hung out. I've been uh, stupid busy. Um, basically, just trying to survive. There's a lot of. There's uh, we're in a small town now, and there's very little um, work without really humping for it. So um, pay is not great. And, um, I don't know. It's just it's a constant grind. But. Uh, been doing a lot of uh, handiwork stuff, just pretty much uh, anything that uh, um, I can find to do, I'm doing, and uh, that's been keeping us afloat and, and uh, trying to help keep the, the rescue running and, and uh, yeah, just all the all the stuff that you do when you're just trying to survive, you know. Um, but uh, uh, I know I haven't spoken to anybody in a long time. I've been I've stayed off of Facebook and. Uh, I haven't spent a lot of time on YouTube and um, really just haven't done a whole lot of uh, doing anything as far as social media is concerned, uh, simply just because of time and, and energy. But uh, I did want to hop back on and say hi to everybody and say thank you for those of you who have hung with us and, and uh, kept a little bit of donations coming in that have, uh, have helped keep us just, just heads above water. And... Um, I uh, wanted to give a shout out to uh, to Kenny and Victor who have uh, who have been busting ass with the rescue. Um, Kenny's running rescues every single day. Victor every once a week or so. Um, I've gotten about one a month in simply because of location, um, but I seem to be maintaining the uh, the bulk of the large fish. I've got uh, uh, the big ponds up and the tanks up so that uh, the big fish when they come into uh, uh, Victor's and, and Kenny's place can come over here and that frees them up to have room for uh, other rescues to come in. <clears throat> um, we've had uh, some a couple of catfish come in. We've had lots and lots and lots of koi, lots of goldfish. Um, I built uh, a pond for a woman down south of us uh, over the last two months. If you haven't seen any of those videos, check them out. Um, pond turned out awesome. Um, I've got another pond build coming up, probably mid-September. I don't think it's gonna be quite as involved as this one. It's smaller, but uh, still gonna be interesting. Um, just been working, humping it, trying desperately to, to get us together. Uh, property's still kind of a mess. Um, it's so damn hot right now. It, uh, the the, the uh, feel temperature right now is 111 degrees, which is no kidding. It's 111 degrees. I mean, it's I guess the actual temperature is like 98, 99, but uh, but the feels like temperature is ridiculous. So not liking outdoors right now, um, which you would think would give me some time to do some stuff indoors, but it feels like I'm still always out doing something. So that's the way that's the way it is. So it looks like uh, we're probably going to get back to doing some more YouTube videos. Um, there's a whole lot going on. I've got tanks going up. Um, I built a patio out front that uh, uh, makes it easier for Heather to get in and out of the RV um, um, so that the, she can roll outside and go do stuff outside. Um, I've got uh, uh, the whole line of the whole front fence going in with tanks so that we have, uh, we're probably adding somewhere in the range of about uh, two, 3,000 gallons of water. Um, that's all going to be actual display tanks up front. Um, the 400's kicking, everybody's doing great in there. The ponds out back are doing great, but uh, but really don't have anything out that is, uh, you know, a pleasure to display. Um, most everything that we've got is uh, uh, pretty utilitarian. Um, it's basically just to make sure that the fish are safe and that uh, everybody's maintained, but not so great for video. So we're working on that. We're going to be adding up the adding the uh, tanks in the front now. Um, I've got uh, all of the building materials I need to build those shelves, and um, just kind of waiting for the weather to cool down a little bit. It's hot, hot, hot. I mean, like 110 degrees hot, and uh, heat warnings that say stay the hell out of the sun or you'll die, uh, that sort of thing. <coughs> um, I've just been working around the yard a little bit, trying to get some stuff worked out. Um, I'm going to be putting in a uh, uh, a ground cooling and heating system. I've got uh, a bunch of irrigation pipe that 
Um, I've got to dig a big trench for and drop the pipe in there and that way we'll be able to run water uh, underground and through the fish ponds that will bring the temperature down um, and or up depending on which part of the season it is and uh, that'll be helpful and uh, so far we've been doing fine we're, we're running the well 24 7 that's pretty much how we're uh, uh, keeping the water temperature um, stable and uh, and it works just fine um, living situation is still tough the RV is is tight and small and uncomfortable and we definitely need to get uh, some sort of house built but funds are not allowing for that at the moment um, it's just been it's been a long year and a half and uh, and you know it's every little every little step makes a difference but but regardless it's still not it's still not fast it's uh it's a slow process um, so I haven't quite forgiven my uh, my cousin for stealing my house that's made the world difficult for sure so I'm really looking forward to getting uh, getting the new tanks up and starting to do some video um, of the, that process and getting the fish moved over and getting those tanks escaped um, it's really gonna be interesting so um, <clears throat> the entire system is all going to be plumbed together uh, we'll have our main filtration running into the 400 and from the 400 it will overflow and head into uh, the smaller tanks that will be all the way around the inside of the fence line and raised just enough to be over the top of the fence line and then that will overflow into the larger tanks which are around the front side of the fence line and uh, and will flow all the way down around back over to where the 400 is into uh, the 350 gallon uh, sump and then that will get pumped right back into the uh, into the 400. So it's all gravity fed, um, and uh, it's going to be an interesting process. Um, uh, it's all going up on cinder block, which we'll paint and try to make pretty at some point. But uh, they're going to be pretty uh, utilitarian at the moment. Um, but uh, it's a good plan, and it's going to look nice. I just got to get out and do it, and and I'm really kind of waiting for. The temperatures to drop a little bit because it's it's hard to work in this right now um, if you'd like to help out uh, please go to flfishrescue.org and uh, and throw us a couple of donations we are um, financially just flat broke um, we're making it but barely um, I you know every chance I get every little job I get I'm out humping it and so I have been trying desperately to keep our lives and the rescue afloat with the work that I can pull in, but it's just, just razor's edge. It's just scraping the surface and, uh, and every penny freaking helps. Um, we're going to try and start putting together a weekly, uh, stream. Um, I think if, uh, if we can get the timing right, we're going to have Kenny and Victor and myself and Heather and Liz all on at the same time and uh, and we'll talk about things that are going on at uh, the rescue in Orlando and the rescue in Bradenton and the rescue here um, as well as uh, uh, things that we've learned through the years about how to care for fish how to care for tanks um, some of the, the the best ways to keep um, uh, tanks naturally so that you don't have to spend so much time doing water changes and doing all the work that's necessary because when you're keeping as much water as we do between the three rescues you got to find ways to make it work uh, without having to do all the work and so um, we've gotten really good at maintaining things in ways that don't require a lot of effort <coughs> so I think this is gonna be a good series and uh, and we're just gonna uh, just start we haven't decided on a day yet or a time yet we'll get back to you as soon as we know um, but uh, it's coming very soon we'll start we'll start doing that again um, I still don't have great network but I think if um, we run off of either Kenny's or Victor's network then uh, if I get booted I can just hop back in again so I think that's the way we're gonna run it um, and uh, 
I don't know. So just new stuff coming. Um, appreciate y'all thinking about us and, and hanging in there with us. And, and we haven't quit. We're working our asses off over here. We're just not making a lot of content lately. Um, simply because time hasn't allowed and energy hasn't allowed. But um, it's time to get back to it. So we're on our way and uh, we'll see you soon.